Hey, if you guys like these tutorials, please subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notified. Tons more tutorials coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mumbling Editor. This is the very first video for me, the Mumbling Editor. And you'll probably get to hear some of that once we uh, get started and stuff. I'll try to talk nice and clear, but sometimes I mumble. Uh, you really shouldn't mumble because I can't really understand a word you're saying. <laughs> and we like to have fun here too. So we're gonna get started here by just taking a look at our sequence all finish and complete in Autodesk Flame. The idea and the and the thought behind this is mostly a beginner's tutorial. I started on Flame about a year ago, so I'm basically a beginner. So I figured I would just kind of go through the little bumps of you know going down the road that I've gone down. So hopefully it just kind of makes it a little easier for you. And for advanced users out there, hopefully you can glean some stuff from this. Um, my background is coming from Avid DS, so I have a different work, different idea and way of working in Flame. I'm mostly a timeline editor coming from Avid. So I, I really like to just start with the timeline and then move into batch and action. And what you ask is batch and action. So batch is a great way of compositing. Uh, we'll dive a little bit deeper into it. And then action is just kind of the 3D environment for your compositions. So let's take a look at this uh, at this tutorial. Um, I'm not gonna have audio playing on it because I don't wanna get hit by the YouTube Nazis. So it, the audio will be downloadable and you can slap that into your timeline and then take a look at it from there. The basics of this is we're going to walk through how to actually bring in your footage onto the timeline, how to color correct it on the timeline, and then slap it all into batch and then start our compositing. We'll be going in, into the color correction. My ways might not be like the perfect 100%, oh, this is the way it's going to be, or this is the way to do it. It's the way I do it. We're going to go through the color correction. We'll go through and, you know, bringing in this, this graphic here. It's not even a graphic. We just built this text here in, uh, in Flames Action. And the morphing, warping, and stuff is all built within Action. Uh, we'll just kind of cruise through there. We'll see how, you know, I build transitions and stuff. I'll show you how to kind of do those. And that little wipe will kind of show that. This little compositing will jive, will jive. We'll dive into some green screen keying. That's how the zombie is, has been brought into here. It's just on a green, a green screen element. So we'll kind of dive into a little bit of that. We'll dive into layering things and how to get the, the 3D-ness of, of a shot. Of course, all the color correction to kind of get the scenes to blend to one another. Uh, the graphics to kind of blend all these transitional elements, what this layer is here. This is just basically like a color correction grading layer that I have created into, into here, just to kind of give it all more of a uniform look and stuff. You know, just another little baby step, nothing, nothing major on that layer. And this final element, we'll just kind of go over how that was comped together. Pretty, pretty easy comp on this end here. And then how to kind of key this on out to be able to bring it in over the top here. So that's kind of a quick little overview of what this tutorial is going to be. Uh, once again, this is just going to be a beginner's thing. It's not going to be diving deep into, into flame. My knowledge base isn't 100% huge on it, but I, I've definitely learned some tricks of the trade over the past year working on flame. And hopefully in the comments below, you guys can help me by suggesting better workflows. I'm always looking to learn, and it looks like you guys are here to do just that. All right, let's get started on this in the next video. Hey guys, I wanna hear all your comments. Let's start a dialogue up on what you do in Flame and what you do to make your process quicker and better. Leave some comments down below. Let's talk about it. 